Hi, so this video is going to be about simplifying radicals. So in A6 part 1, we simplified square roots, right? Um, so now we're going to be extending that. Um, our roots will not all be square. We may have cube roots or fifth roots or fourth roots, um, and sometimes we may have square roots. But we need to know what to do differently if that root has changed. Um, so we also did, a, we also last time were doing um, changing forms from exponential to radical and radical to exponential form. So on those, um, you will have a few on this worksheet at the beginning just to review that. But if I see a different number there besides um, a 2, or besides nothing being there, which means it's a square root, then I am going to need to find a different number of copies underneath in order to bring one out. So whatever r is, that's our root, right? That is the number of copies I need underneath the square root of the radical to bring one outside. So on a square root, that's two, right? On a cube root, it's going to be three. So on this one, I'm going to need three copies underneath in order to bring one out. Now this one is negative under here, and if there's a negative on yours, don't like worry too much about it. We're gonna kind of ignore it till the end. Since this is a cube root, our answer will just be negative. Um, if it were an even root, that means we're getting into imaginary numbers, and for today's assignment, you won't see any with an even root. So just, if you see a negative, just means your answer is going to be negative out front. So just ignore it till the end. I'm gonna go ahead and break down 256. Um, so I know it's even, so two goes into it, so that'd be two and one, 28. So I'm gonna circle the two, because it's prime. So the first step is exactly like for square roots. I'm breaking it down to its prime factors. Um, two times 32, two times 16. 4 times 4, which each of those gives me a 2 times 2, right? So now I've, break, I've broken it all down to its prime factors. Now I'm looking for copies. Now again, because this is a cube root, I don't want to look for copies of 2 like I did on a square root. Instead, I want to look for 3 copies. So 3 2's there means I can bring one out front. 3 2's here means I can bring one out front. And the 2 left over means those 2 would have to stay inside, right? So that means outside I've got a 4, inside I've got a 4. This would still be a cube root, so I've got a 3 here. And now I just need to think about this m to the 4th. So m to the 4th is m multiplied together 4 times. Since I'm looking for 3 copies, for those 3 m's I could bring one outside. And because that one is all by itself, I would need to leave it inside. So this would be my simplified rationalist or radical. Okay, so let's try something a little bit different. I'll just try another example. Let's see if we can find one that's... Okay, so here's a fifth root. Um, now, if it's a fifth root, that means I need five copies of a number in order to bring one out. So let's go ahead and break down six, or 160. I'm thinking 16 times 10, but again, any two numbers that multiply to 160 will work. Uh, 10 is 2 times 5, and those are both prime. 16 is 2 times 8. Uh, 8 is 2 and 4. And then 4 is 2 and 2. So again, a bunch of 2s. Um, I'm looking for 5 2s in order to bring 1 out. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So because there's 5 2s underneath, I can bring 1 outside. The 5 has to stay underneath. Again, this is still a fifth root, so I need to put a little 5 right there. And because there's only one A, the A will have to stay underneath as well. Okay, let's do another. Um, okay, so this one's a square root, but we'll go ahead and do this. So if I don't see that number, it means it's a 2, right? So I'm looking for copies of 2. 294 is 2 times, let's see, it would be 147. And then I'll just go put 3 into 147. That would go in 40, uh, 49 times. And then 49 is 7 times 7. So 
So I have two sevens. Again, this is a square root because I don't see a number there. So a seven can come out. The two and three will have to both stay underneath. I don't need a number here because it's a two. I could write two. It would still be correct, but I just don't need it if it's a square root. X to the third means X times X times X. So for these two X's, I could bring one outside, but that one's going to have to stay inside. So I've got 7X on the outside and 6X on the inside. Okay. So let's just do one last one. Okay, so this is a fourth root. So I need to have four copies underneath in order to bring one out. Let's just break down 48. So that's 4 times 12. 4 is 2 times 2. 12 is 4 times 3. And 4 is 2 times 2. Again, I need four copies in order to bring one out. So I'm going to bring out a 2 because there's four 2's. And the 3 will have to stay inside. It's still a fourth root, so I need a little four there. X to the fifth means X multiplied five times. So for these four, I can bring one out, and that one has to stay inside. Oh, I forgot my Y's. So there's seven Y's. Wow, it's a lot. Okay, seven Y's, and for every four, I can bring one out. So it looks like I can only bring one out. There's still three left inside, so that would still be y to the third. Remember, if they're left inside, you got to multiply them back together. So this would be my result. All right, good luck on trying some of those, and let me know if you have any questions.